This video will cover the topic, Square Root Multiplication Advanced. Let's say we are given the problem 4 times the square root of 80 times the square root of 98 and asked to simplify. What do you think is our first step toward simplifying this expression? I think we would start by multiplying the two expressions together, right? That is one possible way we could begin, but I would recommend that we begin by first simplifying each square root expression as multiplying first may lead to a large radical that is difficult to simplify. Okay, so we'll simplify the square root expressions first. How do we do that? To simplify 4 times the square root of 80, we will first look for the greatest factor of 80 that is a perfect square. Note that 80 equals 16 times 5, where 16 is a perfect square. Therefore, 4 times the square root of 80 equals 4 times the square root of 16 times 5, which equals 4 times the square root of 16 times the square root of 5, which equals 4 times 4 times the square root of 5, which equals 16 times the square root of 5. To simplify the square root of 98, we will again look for the greatest factor of 98 that is a perfect square. Note that 98 equals 49 times 2, where 49 is a perfect square. Therefore, the square root of 98 is equivalent to the square root of 49 times 2. This equals the square root of 49 times the square root of 2, which results in 7 times the square root of 2. Next, will we multiply these two expressions together? Yes, that is our next step. 16 times the square root of 5 times 7 times the square root of 2 is equivalent to 16 times 7 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. This equals 112 times the square root of 5 times 2, which results in 112 times the square root of 10. And our final answer is 112 square root 10? That is correct. Let's try one more example. Say we are given square root of 50 times 4 times the square root of 98, and we are asked to simplify. First, we'll simplify each square root expression. Correct! The square root of 50 simplifies to 5 times the square root of 2. And 4 times the square root of 98 simplifies to 28 times the square root of 2. Next, we multiply these two expressions together and simplify. Exactly! 5 times the square root of 2 times 28 times the square root of 2 can be rewritten as 5 times 28 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. This equals 140 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which is equivalent to 140 times 2, which results in 280. And 280 is our final answer. Awesome work! So to summarize, to simplify a problem that involves square root multiplication, we first simplify the square root expressions. Next, we multiply the expressions together, and last, we simplify to result in our final answer. Perfect summary. Sounds like you really understand this topic.